Hello, I am going to go over how to make a T1 crossover cable. So you start by needing five things. You need a cable stripper, like this one. This is a good one. They look a few different ways, but the general idea is that you put a cable in and strip it. I'll show that in a little bit. You Sam, need... can I make a cameo in your video? And you just ruined it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, dude. Um, no, uh, you need a terminator, which looks like this. Um, you will put the cable in there and terminate it. You need cable, obviously, raw cable. Um, so there's that. You need some ends, some. RJ45 ends and a wire cutter. So, let's get started with the first step. We need to strip the cable. So, I'm going to get one end here and I'm going to put it through like this. And that's a decent length to cut off. So just go over like that and then open it up, take it out, and it'll come off. What I like to do at this point is a lot of these cables have uh, these little cloth things on them. I like to cut those off because they get in the way when making the cable so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off right now and I cut off one of my brown things my brown cord cable so I'm gonna have to just strip this again Gotta be careful when you do this sometimes, it uh, doesn't work out always. Justin, how well do you know QoS? Decent? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Okay, so at this point, what I like to do um, is get all the cable, the four pairs, get them unwound, because if you see that they're wound in like little twist ties. So I'm just gonna untwist tie them. Yeah. Like what, what command does it? And... Marking or whatever? Yeah, those are... Just like that, okay. And now what I like to do is straighten them, and the way they do this, is I hold the sleeve like really tight so when you straighten these cords out right here they don't pull out of the sleeve you don't want that to happen so I hold the sleeve at the base then I take my thumb and index finger and I run them across the cable this takes out the twist from them and makes them straight okay so just like that. Now, specifically for a T1 crossover, um, you're not using all eight cables. You're using, if you can see that all right, you're only using uh, two pairs. So you're using four cable or four copper wires. And I'm gonna use blue and brown. So I'm going to take my blue, or I'm sorry, I'm going to take my brown pair here, I'm going to take my blue pair, and I'm going to cut off my green and orange pairs because I don't need them for a T1 crossover. So now I have two pairs, and based off that, oh, and by the way, this, this pen out I got, this picture I have on my phone, um, you can just Google this. I simply, I googled the exact words, T1 crossover, 
I went to Google Images and it shows me the pen out. You can do that for basically any type of cable. You can just Google the type of cable, like a straight through cable. Just Google straight through cable, go to Google Images, and you'll find a pinout that looks just like this for a straight through or whatever. This happens to be for a T1 crossover. So we see that we have orange one and two going to four and five, and blue four and five going to the other end one and two. So just keep that in mind. That's how we're going to be making this cable. I might bring that up later on in the video, but we'll see. Anywho, so let's just see here. We have our two pairs, and we're just going to get them ordered up, correct? So based on the cabling chart, I'm going to go striped brown, brown, solid blue, striped blue with a gap in the middle. I'm going to hold down the sleeve at the end, get them up like that. Now once I have them in order, straightened out, and you know the pairs are untwisted, and then I cut off the two extra pairs that we didn't need, um, if this is your first time making a cable, you're going to have to take an RJ45 end, and you're going to have to compare it, so you're going to have to put it up right up next to the cable and see how long do I want this and if you see on this RJ45 there's a crimp point it's the thick let me just point it out here with a piece of wire just a moment you see this thick point right here that's where you want it to crimp the sleeve so if you put this cable the sleeve has to be at that crimp point so it crimps the sleeve. So I'm gonna cut my wire to length now. Um, where's my wire cutter? All right, and then since it has a gap in the middle, specifically this T1 crossover, I'm gonna have to artificially put that gap in the wire just like that. Okay. Then I'm going to take my RJ45 end and the way I like to make these is I put one side against the edge here and then I bring the outer cord in by pressing down so I can very accurately choose that I only want a gap in between. Just a moment here. I'm, it's kind of hard to watch this in the camera at the same time. Just try to get these sorted out. Alright, I don't know if you saw that, but I got the gap in between there. And then you push it in as hard as you can, just a little bit. And you see that that crimp point right there, the sleeve is underneath it, right? And another thing you want to check is that all four of your ends are out at the end there, as you can see. You can see them pushed up against the edge. And your cable's in, right? So then you take your terminator, voila, and you just put it in the terminator. Make sure you put it in the right way because if you don't, it'll cut the cable off. Anyways, you just put it in, and then on this handle, you just squeeze, and make sure you do it tight until all the clicks are done. And you have one crimped end, as you can see, right? Let's just do the other side here, so just remember that the way we made the first one was brown blue stripes on the outside and I like to remember it like this just because it's kind of easier so now we need to do um, blue first and then brown with stripes on the inside so you see before we did brown blue now we're doing blue brown but with stripes on the inside 
So then I'm going to take the other end here and I'm going to strip it real quick. I'm going to cut off the fabric tip or the fabric piece. I cut off uh, that wire again. I'm just not paying attention, am I? Let's just try that again really quick. Du, du, du. All right, I'm gonna take the fabric little part right here and clip it off. And then I'm gonna cut off the pairs that I don't need. So remember I'm using brown and blue, so I'm gonna be cutting off orange and green. And then, based on the cabling that I showed you, it's gonna be, oh yeah, and by the way, just, you know, untwist the pairs, right? Untwist them, get them, hold the sleeve, get them straightened out with your thumb and pointer finger, right? And then, it goes solid blue, striped blue, and striped brown, brown. So then you just get them together. Remember, if this is your first few cables, put the RJ45 up next to it to guesstimate the size of where you need to cut this off. And then cut it off. And I'm artificially split that up here. Let me just. I artificially split that there as you can see it so when we put it in again in the RJ45 and I can rest my blue against the edge and then move my brown in just like that just so I have the uh, the gap in between and then just push it in okay um, make sure the sleeves underneath the crimp point make sure your four cords are pushed up against the end like that okay put it in the terminator crimp it hard and last but not least so we have both of our ends done Yep, just like that we are going to cable test to make sure it's right now what we should see on the cable tester is this we should see one go to four two go to five and then we should see four go to one and five go to two okay so I'm gonna bring my handy dandy cable tester over I'm gonna plug in uh, my cord on one end plug in my cord on the other end and then I'm gonna press the data. And as you can see, one goes to four, two to five, four to one, five to two. Now look at, even though it says miswire, it's just that this cable tester is programmed to test for only standard straight through and crossover TCP IP cables. So ignore that it says miswire. Really what you're looking for is that the actual wires match up to what they're supposed to be matched up to. So for a T1 crossover, this is a good cable. And that concludes T1 crossover cable making tutorial. Thank you for watching.